Hi and welcome to this Furuno Australia TZ Touch 3 MFD training video. Today in this video we're going to be looking at TZ Fleet, how to set it up, its functionalities and what it does. Just a reminder though that the TZ Fleet does require a Wi-Fi internet connection, so if you'd like to know how to connect to the Wi-Fi internet, that is in a previous video. So let's jump straight in. Okay, so we need to get into the, the TZ Fleet menus. And to do that, you go to the Home button, which is in the top left of the display. And just a reminder to confirm for Wi-Fi, which is this connection over here. That means we've got Wi-Fi. Then we go into Settings. Then we go into General. And right down the bottom of General, you'll see that there is a too far, there we go. We see there's a My Time Zero account login. So your My Time Zero account login will come from your fleet manager. Uh, it is an email address as an ID and a password. Now, if you don't have those, you'll need to get them before proceeding. So let's proceed. So we go into the My Time Zero menu and we go into Login. And we tap on Login. It'll load up the login page. And we tap on Email brings up the keyboard and I will quickly enter the email for our test fleet account and we'll use number three today okay and I'll enter the password Okay, and once we've entered the email and password for our uh, Time Zero account, we go log in. And it is now connected. You should hear a beep, as you can hear in the background there. And you will, if you quickly exit the menu, see that you are now logged in as your ID, in this particular case with Fruin Australia Fleet 3. So we'll just jump back into Home, Settings and General. And down the bottom in the My Time Zero account section, you've got a couple of options. So you've got, you know, logged as the Fruin Australia. You can log back out if you wish to change IDs. Um, there's also enable cloud synchronization. So that will synchronize all your waypoints and your routes and your boundaries um, and your lines, etc., all to the cloud account. So if you needed to do a backup, if you needed to view them anywhere else, you can log into a browser as the same account. So just go to your normal internet browser on your PC and log in as your same My Time Zero account. Go into the cloud section, you'll see all your waypoints and routes in there. We also need to, for TZ Fleet, report our position back to My Time Zero. So simply to do that, we tap on the on button and we can choose a report interval underneath there. So every five seconds is generally good. With 3G internet, you know, we're not really limited by data. The amount of data that's sent uh, is, is very legible. It's about, uh, for every 30 seconds for seven days, you're looking at about 300 kilobytes. So it's less than an actual, uh, much less than an, even a photo on, on Facebook or something. So we'll go for five seconds. That gives us the most update speed, the most update speed rather. Um, a, a comparison is with AIS and generally at most you would have every 30 seconds on AIS. So the Time Zero fleet is, is magnitudes faster in updating positions. Okay, so we've done that. So just to run through again in the My Time Zero menu that's in the general menu, you're logged in as your ID, you've enabled the cloud synchronization to save all your waypoints uh, and you're also reporting your position back to My Time Zero every five seconds. So you can see here this is a demo unit so it doesn't have any waypoints or routes in it. Um, so now we'll move over to the Time Zero fleet and are receiving the information from, from your, your SAR office. So a rescue coordinator uh, has the ability to see your position uh, reported back on their screen. Uh, it will also allow them to do some plans, uh, doing, you know, using their, you know, their methods, etc. Um, and it allows them to send those plans to directly to the MFD. Uh, they use Time Zero software on a PC, uh, but I won't cover that in this video. I'm purely just going to show you what you'll receive and, and the notifications you'll get when you receive them. So I'm just going to move to my laptop, which I've got one already set up and I'm going to send through a few plans. So the boat there is currently in the middle of the screen. I've set up some pre-plans. Uh, I can see the vessel moving around on my other screen and I'm simply going to right click 
and send a last known point uh, to the MFD. So I'm right clicking now and I'm sending to and I'm clicking send and I'm just waiting for it to, to send. And you'll see up in the top corner here there is a, a rotating, which means it's receiving. And you can see the uh, object received from demo test, not real. That is myself um, to indicate. We do have live fleets, so I do indicate that myself is, is not actually out there real. So you can see now that the waypoint, last known point, the pink waypoint with the star has been received, and that's what you'll see. So when a, a planner is sending you a, a piece of information, you'll get a notification, a beep in the background, uh, and you'll, you'll see the bar at the top as a notification, a beep in the background, and the waypoint will simply just appear. Uh, there is no, you know, synchronization and importing and, and receiving and changing or anything like that. It is just instantaneous, pops up on there. We have the same for our search and rescue boundaries. So I can send a boundary and I'll send it to this fleet object now. And we'll wait a couple of seconds for it to come through. And that's a boundary that I've created previously. So SAR123 search zone. Uh, I can also send a route, so a plea plan route. Now I right click. I go to send to, send it to my fleet three, and the route will just pop up on the display. And if I want to look at that route, I tap on it, and the route extends, and that's my planned route. So that fast and that instantaneous is is what TZ Fleet does. Uh, we can also do stuff like alarm the boundaries. So if uh, you were to enter a certain zone, uh, it is alarmed. So the alarm will go off on the MFD to say that you're in the zone or close to the zone. Uh, we even on our nav data. Uh, we have a, a zoned uh, weather, a zoned nav data option, um, which we can go boundary alarm zone. And if I just tick on this one to make it into a, a own ship alarm, and I'll just resend it again. You'll see a notification that it's been redone. So I can edit a boundary, I can edit a route, um, and I can you know, then resend it again. And now because I've put an alarm zone on it, you can see the edge of the boundary is now alarming. And also the SAR search zone name has come up on the nav data on the left hand side with a distance of how close I am. Once I enter that zone, uh, I'll see if I can move it just to make it easier. No, I'll just move it on the, I'll move it on my screen over here. So I'm gonna move it over the top of the vessel and I'm gonna resend it. So the, SAR, the search zone will come through and now I'm in the SAR zone and you can see on the nav data on the left hand side it's now got a red flashing indication that I'm inside the zone. That's a notification to let you know where you are. Um, if you didn't want to have the zones coloured in you could just have a boundary line uh, and have a uh, you know just an alarm zone to let you know that you're in there. So that's Time Zero Fleet in a nutshell. So Time Zero Fleet is, requires Wi-Fi and all your, your plans and boundaries and, and search, zone, search zones, etc., comes directly from the planner straight into the MFD and it instantaneously pops up on your display. And of course, a reminder again, it does require your Wi-Fi, your 3G Wi-Fi. So that concludes this video on the TZ Fleet uh, functionality on the TZ3 MFDs. Again, if you've got any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to contact Faruna Support and thanks for watching.